Whoa! Is this thing recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, hello everyone, I'm Gohan. <laughs> and today we're gonna be playing a game. It's called Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That's my dad's name. So, this game has to do with my dad, huh? Alright, let's get this party started. I'm new to this whole recording thing. I'm not really used to doing this too much. Well, I had to record a few meetings for my job before, but this is a new experience for me. Oh wow, I'm so young! Dad, Mr. Piccolo. Piccolo, you came. I see. You two are training. Hmm. It's just like you two to fight each other again. All right, let's go, Piccolo. Got to master these controls. As I get the controls down, I'll be able to really fight. All right, take that. Ha! Nice. I can use Kibwas as well. Come here, me ha! Got him. Come on, Mr. Piccolo, show me more power. Me That's what got. I'm talking about. All right. Whoa! Not bad. Oh, I can't really... Okay, I can't stagger him. I have to dodge. Oh, you're still throwing. Okay, let me back up. Whoa. Oh, you're tired. Come on, Mr. Piccolo. You're the one that told me not to use too much power. I exhausted myself. I had to maintain stamina, right? It's interesting to see you like this before you actually taught me. I'm getting a whole other perspective of you. Now, it's my turn. Sorry, Piccolo, but we gotta end this. Alright. Come at me, ha! Alright, I got it. I did pretty well there. Oh, Mr. Piccolo is going all out. So is my dad. This fucking is amazing. I can't believe these two had so much strength back then. I was so young I didn't even notice. Whoa. That's... that's Raditz. And me. Mr. Piccolo. Vegeta. Nappa. Everyone. I see where we're starting. Hmm. I'm starting to understand now. Wait, monkeys. My uncle. <laughs> Not much longer before this planet's ours. I see the conquering planets. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Whoa. Uh, sorry. Oh, starting to feel a little bit bad for him. You Raditz the runt. Oh, but they did Wait, do bad I things and they've something. killed people. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. I don't know if I can forget that. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. They're talking about my if dad. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Hmm. Even back then, uh, Vegeta was still full of I arrogance. I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Um, he's been making a family. Attack of the Saiyans. Dad? Oh, Dad? younger me, I hear you. Dad hears you too. Dad, we better head home or Mom's gonna be really mad at us. That's a good idea. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Piccolo. Super strong? Yeah, younger yeah. me doesn't know him yet. A guy going by the name of Piccolo. Piccolo? You'll meet him pretty soon. Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I'd bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. She probably <gasps> would not like That's that. That's right! I totally forgot that Chi-Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. How could I not remember that? <laughs> Where to get those ingredients? Ah, uh, think. What did she need again? Oh, uh, I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, fish and apples. Oh, yeah, right. That sounds about right. Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Okay, I'll go look. Go get some apples, little me. Gohan sure is full of energy. 
Don't Whoa. get too excited and trip over your own feet. This is a pretty day. Where did that son of mine run off to? Look at all the life here. Have to say, he couldn't have gone that far. This is nice. Dad! Over here! <laughs> well, you found hey. some apples, huh? It looks like you Good found job. an apple tree. Dad! There's the last here. one. Over Good job. Wow, Gohan. Good job, little me. Oh, yeah. We've got plenty of apples now. Thanks for finding these, Gohan. <laughs> I'm kind of tired now, though. Tired, huh? I get it. Yeah, I, I feel that. <laughs> Hang in there. I got an idea. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Okay. Okay. First, All right, let's go find that fishing find spot. spot to fish. Okay. Don't walk too fast. Hmm. You got it. It's around here somewhere. Up, but where? Oh, over there. Cool. All right, we'll just head over there real quick. Younger me, hey, don't cry. It's not that bad. Look, look, I'm right here. Oh, man. Right <laughs> it used to be such a scary cat back then. I did a lot of growing up. Now I'm so different. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll stay by your side. I won't walk too far. Must have gotten split up. You keeping up, little me? There you go. Huh? What's wrong, That's good. On? I'm tired. No. Oh. I can't walk anymore. I'm starting to feel bad. Man, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can carry you if you want. Thanks, Dad. Yay! Look how yeah, this is such a nice memory. Hey, you perked right up. Hmm. Were you trying this to makes me want to spend time man. with my dad again. <laughs> it's been a while. You're one spoiled kid, you know that? <laughs> well. I guess I am pretty spoiled. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. Thanks, Dad. What are we going to fish with? Yeah, how's that going to work? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? The tail? Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what's the plan, Dad? Oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. Oh, you're using All your right. tail to fish. So your tail becomes the fishing rod. I see. That's a smart idea. An easy way to fish as well. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got a big one. Yeah. That's pretty good. This fishing is really working up an appetite. You know what I mean? I could go for a big meal. Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. <laughs> right by the campfire. Great memories. Is there anything better than some fresh fish in your belly? <laughs> oh, I think I ate too much, though. I do have an appetite. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, I sometimes eat too much. You have to eat a lot of this stuff. Or at least that's what my mom tells me. Right. And Videl. And a lot of people. Maybe I eat a little bit too much. I had fun today, Dad. <laughs> All right, let's head home. Right. All right, heading home. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, it's been such Here a long goes. time. Flying I still remember us. these days, though. Me being with Dad, Mom, such a fun time. Whoa. All right. Look at Nimbus Hang go. On time. What's that? Whoa! It's a dinosaur! <laughs> well, I have fond memories of that. And not so fond memories as well. Bye -bye. There was a lot of screaming in the beginning. But at some point, I tamed the beast. Alright, let's head back to Mom. Flying Nimbus is super fast! I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid. Yeah, Nimbus is so cool. Uh, Mom does not look happy at all. Hey, Gigi, we're back! And we got food! Uh, Mom, hey, Mom, it's okay. You're late, Goku. It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients. It's okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. Sorry about that. We did some training, too. Oh, no. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Oh, Dad. Wait, that's today? Of course! Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. Well, at least she's not what still are you mad at us. For? Get in here. 
here. I need to get cooking right away. Now then, I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. Sounds like a plan. What's this? To put his new students to the test, Master Roshi throws a stone on which he wrote the character for Turtle deep into the woods. He states that whoever finds the stone and brings it back first will get to eat dinner, while the other will go hungry. Goku finds the stone, but Krillin tricks him and steals it away. He then rushes back to receive his meal, but an unexpected trap is waiting for him. This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. No. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm finished. Here are your lunches. Dig in whenever you're hungry. Sounds like a plan, Thanks, Mom. TG. Your stuff's the best. It really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving. Right, Gohan? Sure does. Yeah. Later, Chi Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. <laughs> something for me? Oh, yeah. That's right. What is it? No, that oh, hat. <laughs> I forgot about that thing. That little ball on top there? I kind of missed it, actually. Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. I wonder if I should get Pan one of those. That's not all you got from him. It might serve her you well. Were also named after him. Hmm. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. No problem, Mom. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. Hmm. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. Yeah. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Yep, that sounds about right. Hey, Dad, what's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks Master like Roshi, a huh? Geezer, He's an interesting he's guy. <laughs> That's really? for sure. It's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, that's the downside yeah, of Master Roshi. He's, he's a very interesting guy. Strong, <laughs> just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me. Yeah, Bulma is amazing. We done she's done that. a lot for me, too. Goku! Uh, Bulma! And who's this little guy? Oh yeah, they haven't He's met me son. yet. <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> your, your son? Yeah. Wild. Huh? Yeah. Nice to meet this you. This is a crazy surprise. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Never got to meet that Suits Gohan. Him, don't you think? All right, let's talk to everyone. <laughs> Chichi's done such a great job raising such a well-behaved kid. <laughs> I guess I am well-behaved. Hmm. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that you got a kid, Goku. <laughs> He's a spitting image of his old man. So this is Kami House. There are all sorts of people here. I'm a little nervous. Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chichi gets pretty angry if I train too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she does right. definitely get angry. Yeah, I Very angry. With yeah, taking care of, a lot of yelling. Been pretty quiet. Hey, you two. What are you talking uh -oh. about? Uh, 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 Sounds like really? the master heard you guys talking about training. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> hmm. I guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's I the see. way of the turtle school. I mean, Mr. Piccolo taught me a few of those things. The playing now, part probably the least that he taught me, but sure you two never he taught me how to really fight and survive. I've got a little those lessons stuck to me. 
time to get back to my usual enjoyment. Whoa, yeah. that's uh, good for you, Master Oshi. No, that's Mr. Turtle. I haven't seen him in a while either. Yo. Hmm, what's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Yes. Huh? Oh, oh, uh. Something's up. Are you hiding something? I, I, uh, um. He went and hit my book again. That's, that's Mr. Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Mr. Turtle, where are you going? Hey. Hey. He's gone. Greetings. Oh, hey, Goku. Have you seen that blasted turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, he ran off somewhere. Huh? Tortoise? Are you still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But never mind that. What about my book? The pain in the butt hid my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? Of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I, if I don't have it, then I... I... Well, if it's really that important to you, I guess I can help you find it. Really? That's mighty kind of you, Goku. Yeah. So, what kind of book is it? It's a... Ahem. It's a suit photograph collection. <sighs> Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look outside. Yeah. You got it. Hey, hey Turtus. So where did you hide Master Roshi's book? Oh. It's Turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Mm. Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control. And that's why it belongs in the ground. The ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? No, oh, there it is. I see. So, we got that book, Master Roshi. Yo. Hey, I found your book, Master Roshi. Oh, you found it! You're the best, Goku! I knew it was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you, Goku, to help me out with the troublesome turtle hides this again. <sighs> uh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Looks like that did the trick. All right, let's talk to Krillin. Hey, Goku. I know Master Roshi was talking about it before, but you know the training is pretty important, huh? I can't let all this strength I just gained just go to waste. So, I'm planning on getting back into a serious routine. So, what you're saying is you want to fight me? Huh? You? <laughs> Maybe some other time. I'm going to focus on some mental training first. Mental training? Oh, you mean when you do it in your head. You should try it sometime when you get a chance. All right, so mental training. Okay. I guess we'll do training now. All right, Krillin. Let's go all out. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Not bad, Krillin. Hmm. Even back then, you were still strong. However, I can't let you beat me here. All right, Krillin. Time to end this. Come here, All right, we're finished. That's that's gotta be. What is it? It ain't no meteor. That's Reddit. That's Uncle. Yeah, that's not a meteor. That's a spaceship. There he is. I don't like this farmer's chances. You might want to get out of here. Just as I thought the creatures you don't stand a chance against rats. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? Oh, man. A power level of only five? What trash. Hey, that's not so nice. Don't call him that. <laughs> he caught the bullet. Don't you... <sighs> Farmer. Is this the best this planet can muster? He might be dead. Well, now, here's Run it. power reading. 
That's Distance enough. Distance 4880. Kakarot. <laughs> what in the world could that have been? Yeah. I've never felt a power like this. Radis is a lot stronger than anything we fought before. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. What's going Where are on? you? So it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? Piccolo is from a different planet. If that's true, then we got to visit that planet here? later. You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. Yeah, but you Mr. Pickle is pretty strong. For me. Not even a warm-up. How strong was he? Alright, Mr. Pickle. We got this. We can show him our power. We won't lose him. Huh. That's enough. That's not enough. You'll have to show me more if you want to beat me. Now it's my turn. Take this! Alright. We're doing some decent damage here. Whoa. You're going all out now, are you? You better. Or you lose here. Huh! Alright. Let's use our full power! over. That's all. What do you mean that's all? That all, huh? Didn't you just say that? Is Am I having weird deja vu? Now? Time to show you what real power looks like. <sighs> Were you holding back this entire time? I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <gasps> He's found my dad. Damn. Piccolo looks gassed. <clears throat> Possible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> He's heading towards us. This isn't good. He's here. <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. His what? old man. Tell me, Kakarot. What is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? He's been raising a family. Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine, then. Allow me to refresh your memory. My dad's past. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. The big reveal. You're lying! That can't be true! Mm. At the time, I didn't believe him either, but he was telling the truth. Planet to rid it of all life. We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Such a horrible thing we to do. Not -nosed brats like yeah. you even though he's family, I like can't forgive him either. Like this. I can't forgive this. I just it looks can't. Like this one's got a moon. If this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb well, with me. My dad doesn't know. We Saiyans well, release I know now. Power whenever when a full a moon full happens, moon. Even we transform. Like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. 
take your lies and get out of here. Sadly, it's not going to be that easy, Dad. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. <laughs> Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Uh, including me and you. There are only four Saiyans left. Let's see. You think my dad will join me though? He's not like that. My dad doesn't do stuff like this. Three of us were going to have a hell of he likes fighting, but he doesn't like hurting people. And that's when I He's kind-hearted, just like me. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? <gasps> I yeah. I'll just take he ended up taking me. Huh? I was so young and weak. Come any closer I couldn't and do I'll anything. Sky high. Back I was off. such a burden. <laughs> At least I felt like oh, one. Oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. <laughs> Fine, I'll fight you. Ha! Not bad. If this is all you got, then I can beat you right now. I can even go. Take this! Alright. Time to use all my power. Come here, me ha! I missed. Come here, me ha! It's over! Still didn't defeat him. Wait, I'm in trouble. Were you still taking it easy on me? No, I see. No, Dad. That wasn't even his full power. He's been holding back this entire time. No, oh, man. Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back. Then you better do as your big brother said. Uncle, please. This is child abuse. I can't even fight back. I was so young. Uncle. No, oh, man. Uncle! No! No! I'm sorry, Dad. Palma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it. That decoration on Gohan's hat was a Dragon Ball. Ah, uh, I know my dad was stressed. I'm off. It's now or never. I know when Pan's in danger, my heart starts racing. You're as good as dead on your own. feels the same. Piccolo! <laughs> Piccolo. Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. That's true. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. I see. Teaming up together. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't worry, Dad. I'm pretty sure you can trust him. Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. Oh, I love you that too, Piccolo. That was the only thing standing between me and world domination. No, oh, you really don't the mean that, though, right? And cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Well, then the world will be mine for the taking. I never heard Mr. Pickle talk like this. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. We gotta get this jump done. I guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Oh, this is the end of the chapter. I did pretty good for my first time. All right. We got to continue.